In Formula One, reliable performance is everything. Ferrari in Bahrain, the perfect example, with Charles Leclerc en route to a maiden victory until lap 46, when a short circuit within an injection system control unit brought it all undone. While over at Renault, it's a far more deep-seated issue. One that has cost the squad momentum so far this season, with just two point scores from the first five races, a 12-point total post-Spain compared to the 41 this time last year. Bad luck and engine issues have been the major cause, with new recruit Daniel Ricciardo retiring in Australia after hitting a grassy rut on the run to Turn 1, destroying his front wing. Bahrain saw a diabolical double retirement at the same corner and lap, just four from home, with an engine issue for Ricciardo, an MG UK gremlin for Nico Hülkenberg. While in China, a fast-tracked power unit upgrade uncovered a software glitch in its MG UK involving just one line of code. But Renault boss Cyril Abitable said to develop in line with its ambitions, the squad has had to bias its processes towards performance. We are paying a little bit for that, but I hope that it's short-term pain for long-term gain, he said. And it's compounded by the fact F1's midfield is brutally competitive, with just 16 points covering 4th to 9th place in the constructors' standings. This was meant to be Renault's consolidation season, where it retained a solid 4th in the standings as best of the rest, ever closing the gap to the top teams. And it's something the squad was confident it would achieve pre-season. I think we are uh, on target with the plan. The, the plan was uh, to be able to fight for podium uh, in 2020 and to fight for winter in 2021. So uh, it's one year from, from now. Uh, but uh, every, we've, we've pretty much delivered and uh, done every single thing that we, um, we said we would be doing. There's no doubt it has the right racers behind the wheel. Daniel Ricciardo bringing his winning experience to bear on Nico Hülkenberg. But the car needs time to match their capabilities. And while Renault remains extremely positive on chassis development, its power unit is not only its weakest link, but F1's as well. The French mark lagging behind its rivals Mercedes, Ferrari and Honda a common theme in the turbo hybrid era. All of which will take further expertise, care of recent recruits from Ferrari and Mercedes, which its special advisor, Alain Prost, says is invaluable. When you start to be uh, close to the top, which I think and I hope that Renault will get closer and closer in the next few months or years, and the experience I had with uh, teams like, uh, I mean, Renault, obviously in the 80s, but then uh, were champion teams like uh, McLaren, Ferrari, and, uh, and Williams, then you, you realize that uh, you are not working exactly in the same way. You know, that's where also the experience can help uh, working in a different, uh, having a different attitude is also important in this case. There's no doubt Renault can deliver at the top level, with two world title doubles in 2005 and 2006, and 10 further crowns as an engine supplier. But with no one yet to beat Mercedes over a season since 2014, Renault just has to continue to build its long-term campaign and sort reliability as a priority to ensure that it scores every point possible. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.